And welcome back to the long run where we are playing Chrono Trigger. Mazzy is here too. Bah. And uh, last time uh, we ended up going to the not distant past, but still pretty distant. Uh, went to Utopia where absolutely nothing is going wrong. And also, by the way, Lav like Lavos is a source of power. But at least we got our pendant charged up, so now we can open all of the doors. So we're taking this new technology to 2300. Okay. Oh, so we still have to do the race. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's like just a, a, very, it's a very low stakes race. Basically. Uh, maybe I did that early? Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. So what you're saying on him, is, you think you can handle it, babe? So, so what you're saying is that your granny is just slightly slower than you are. I mean, th this is this is a, a pretty neat um, sequence and all. <laughs> but you know, can we just get on with it? <laughs> it's like it, it seems mostly pretty inconsequential, and it just serves to like, well, you, you I guess you kind of get to skip. Uh, this entire area, which otherwise you'd just be running through manually. Oh, box. Mid tonic. Just yes or no, is there stuff that I can miss in Lab 32 by just skipping it all the time? I don't think so. I think it's here that I need to go. And we've already done the whole trek through here, so... Or has that all closed up? Uh, I don't... No, nah, the, the... The stuff should still be there, I think. That I, I would have thought that I would have opened a, a bridge, like, just to the right here. Hmm. Yeah, me too. Okay, yeah. I guess... I, yeah, mo uh, I'm sorry. I Go ahead. Most of the, the short path has been opened up, so yeah. Just not that one specific one. Those who open the door, I am Belthazar, the guru of reason. I once lived in the kingdom of Zeal. That great disaster of Zeal somehow threw me into this era. To my surprise, Lavos exists here, and I suspect in other periods as well. Eons ago, Lavos descended from the heavens. Burrowing deep into the world's core, he began to consume our planet's energy and grow stronger. 
Bavos disappeared briefly when he was summoned away by a mighty wizard who lived in Waria in the year 600. In 1999, Lavos claims this area and reigns from high atop Death Peak. Lavos continues to replicate. Like a giant parasite, he is consuming our world. Forced to live here, I continue to conduct research on Lavos, but I am growing old, it's an, and it's impossible to keep sane at such trying times. Yeah, me too, thanks. So, before I lose completely, I shall safeguard my data and my ultimate creation. How I long to return home, but I have grown frail. So you, you who have opened the door, I leave things in your hands. Only by mastering time itself, do you stand a chance against Lavos. The odds will be against you, but you are true heroes. The world is in your hands. Open now the last door and take what you find there. My last invention. My wings of time. Ooh. Yeah, I, I guess, yeah, I'm sorry, you're in the second act, not the third act. My bad. <laughs> This must be the invention Balthazar spoke of. Oh, what this do? It's the it's the golden jump ship from the. Uh, oh, what was the name of that game? I I don't remember. It it was it was kind of a. You control the ship and you have to gather resources. It's on the NES. It was made by Rare. I something about space loonies. Deceased crab played it on his channel. Ah, crap! I don't remember the name. How do I interact? Right. With it? What am I missing here? I'm just pressing A all over the place. And I'm well, not able to actually interact with it. Well... I mean, if you can't figure out what to do with it, maybe you need to go somewhere else. Or try to, anyway. <laughs> Copied my memory into this thing. What do you think? I think these things are super creepy, but you do you, man. Ah, anyway, uh, you just keep doing your thing there, strong man. <laughs> anyway, there's something I need to explain. Namely, how to transcend time. Press the Y button for the time gauge, then use the L and R buttons to select the arrow. Oh yeah, before you go, why don't you? Name my time machine. Epoch seems good to me. Yep. I'm bored. Choo -choo. And Professor Sinch. How do I get on? <laughs> Pressing Y just kind of does that. Oh, there we go. I had to go around the dude. Take off, get off. 
Who <laughs> will? Well, this looks familiar. So I'm guessing this is... I was wondering why it was going off the chart there, but then I realized, okay, it was just if you want to go to the end of time, which I guess is not. Well, Zoom. I think there's a guy at the end of time that might be interested in seeing that. <laughs> We're all right, aren't we? It breathes. It fast. Meepox capable of, capable of this? Boing! Hey. Interesting. So he actually finished the Winds of Time. In fact, he gave his life for it. Why not put the device in the box? Take it to the ancient land of magic. By the way, since I'm here, I'll just take a moment to remind you all that there is, uh, let me make sure that, uh, it's actually open. Yeah, there is a game changer in effect for this game. For 2,000 channel points, uh, you can make me swap a party member for another party member, and they cannot be changed, uh, again for 10 minutes, unless... Um, unless, of course, required or forced by the story of the game. Well then. <laughs> Alright, Zero gonna fucking stir some shit up, I see. <laughs> okay. I guess we do need a swordsman. Uh, there we go. Your team. Uh, da -da -da -da. So where is my game changers? Which one is 10 minutes? This one is 10 minutes. The 10 minutes starts now. Uh, yeah, uh, Coolio, uh, you messed up. Uh, no, uh, yeah. well, I didn't mess up. Zero didn't specify correctly. What? The, like, what, I, what, the way that I interpreted what he said was to swap out Frog and Isla. Isla was in the party, so I took her out of the party and changed her with Frog. I get what you mean. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. So please, please... When you when you do that, um, like when when you, you when you redeem stop and swap, you want to tell me who you want out and who you want in. You can't change both party members with stop and swap. So I'll restart the timer, but I just want I just want to make sure that that's clear. You tell me who you want out. And we want it. Anyway, time starts now. Ah. Uh, I think we need to go to here. Uh, here, right? I was. I looked away for just a mo. I. Yeah, I think so. Also, I thought that this was going to be. This was going to allow me to actually like. Uh, travel in space rather than just time, but I guess not. No, space and time are two different things. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> this is spaghetti. What? <laughs> oh, this is actually Algetti, but I decided to say spaghetti. Bibbity boobity? Also, I didn't have access to this area before. These guys seem very, very tired. They Ooh, too are living upgrade. under capitalism. <laughs> that's also a big upgrade. Oh, that's fifteen thousand. I like I I read this as Megaton Arm One, which is five thousand. No, that's incorrect. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Holy crap. Oh, wow. Uh, that, that, yeah, there's not gonna be an upgrade for that because holy crap. Um, <laughs> also, just realized I ended up taking upgrades for people who are not in the active party. Whoops. Um, ah, it's so fine. I didn't really need weapons. He's a strong, independent black woman who don't need no man. <laughs> uh, god damn it. Ah, <laughs> uh, I saw something. You've got like a buttload of old equipment. <laughs> I don't like selling old equipment. I mean, fair. If I have duplicates that are worth enough money to bother selling... I feel like, um, like... Like you're walking on sunshine? No. Uh, th this, I feel, draws some parallels with East. With, like, uh, East being the magical city in the sky, but, like, the, the land people not... You blinking a lot, buddy. Uh... But yeah, like, like East is the magical city in the sky. Then you have the people, like, on the planet who don't really have magic. At least, as far as East Origins goes, or as I like to call it, sometimes East Oranges. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> East Orange. <laughs> God fucking damn it. God fucking damn it! <laughs> Listen, like, the, there's there's one of the streamers that I follow who actually was playing East Origins, and the way that he was saying it, like, I, I kept mentally processing it as East Oranges. As one does. Isla is a weapon. Yeah, you're not wrong. <clears throat> is she emerald weapon or ah uh, uh, fuck I don't I don't remember all of them whatever
Shiny. Power tap. Probably more ruby weapon. <laughs> Oh geez, that was a bad idea. Oh, do they just power up every time I hit them? Oh, oh this gonna hurt. Youch. 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 Mm, actually, hang on. yeah, there we go. To know how I feel about something called Slurp Kiss. <laughs> you know, sometimes, sometimes you just gotta get a little sloppy. It's all right. One of the reasons this was your team. All right, I'll, I'll take your word for that, dear. Now, now you know what zero's into. Boss battle. <laughs> hmm. yeah, pretty much, yeah. Oof. Um, was Bubble Hit also a new level? Hmm. There, there was another new one. I'm trying to. I try to remember which one it was. Bubble hit. There we go. She might not be able to do magic, but she certainly is a good conduit for magic. <laughs> Isla's best girl. That's actually pretty powerful. Quite the graphic, too. Bring ally back to life. Oh, that's expensive, though. Holy crap. Uh, you know. Um, I weigh my options here. How heavy are they? That one was pretty alright. You hear a noise? Uh, not gonna be as bad as I thought it would be. Boom boom. I want you in my room. <laughs> Bleppy says hi. Hello, Bleppy. Katza says hello, Bleppy. I said I said I said hello, but hello is fine. 
I will also accept Haldo. Where's Haldo? It's not much of a heal. You call that a heal? This, this is a heal. It's not a heal, that's a knife. Play a healing knifey before. <laughs> ah. Well, thanks for waking him up immediately. I do feel like Falcon Hit is probably like my best option because it does a crap load of damage. How can it is pretty rad. Good night at work. <laughs> bye, Bleppy. Coolio says bye, Bleppy. Bleppy the Blepperina. Many are saying she do uh, she bleps. She bleps. Scandalous, she I bleps. know. Oh, baby, when she. Yeah, I got nothing. What? <laughs> I, was I was trying to do a uh, riff on She Bangs. No, 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 I know. Bleppy was talking to me at the same time. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so I hey, feel bye. like healing is pretty much his only move, so it's like a damage race at this point. And I'm ready. And I'm winning! <laughs> oh, can also throw a stone. Can also throw a stone. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna be winning with uh, crits like that, holy crap. Here. Can't use text or items? I want to use my new tech. That's rude. That's super rude. <laughs> yeah, that enemy didn't exist to just be annoying, basically. Does it do anything else? Not much. Well, it dies. Also, I realized I mean, I... there's something that I, that I wanted to do before actually coming up here. Oh, it's not actually letting me do anything. Alright. It's just straight down or up. I was going to use a shelter, but uh, that's not going to be an option.
I'll try that new dual attack. Spire! Attack enemy with Spire. Okay. Thanks for the... oh jeez. I'm sorry for the flashing. Yet another enemy that will attack by bleeding on you. Well, with how much you're stabbing them, it seems like an effective attack. <laughs> or, well, like, an inevitable attack, I guess. <laughs> Maybe not effective. <laughs> Forty-one, so I guess it helps you the most. Um. Which is a side path to get? So, as you know, not a pose. Good equipment is always a good find. Falcon um, hit is not going to hit both of them. Not cross strike. Is it? Can I double attack with that? No, I don't think so. with these Batman imps. Batman. <clears throat> yeah, now, now I'm just thinking of like the scene from uh, an episode of Tiny Toons where Plucky Duck ends up uh, basically taking over for Batman. And it's like, I don't want to do this. I really don't want to do this. But I have to. I'm Batman. Where? <laughs> Where's the chrono trick? God damn it. <clears throat> See, my understanding at the very least is the Chrono Trigger is basically like the core of the Epoch. It's what allows it to travel oh. through time. No, that's completely wrong. Okay. Chrono Trigger the libs. Ah, ah Foos! Why? Why are you like this? <clears throat> Why?
My, my brain works on associations a lot, because now I'm thinking of something else. Um, so I was uh, I was uh, watching Arborelia's stream a couple days ago, and uh, so like she has she actually has like sound cues um, attached to her emotes, and one of them is uh, a sound sample from a pinball table called Vector. Um, which was still early on in like uh, tables that have like digitized voice and sound and things. But uh, on that table you can spell the word hype. And when you get letters from hype, it starts saying H, Y, P, E. But just like the Y itself out of context. It's just like, why? Our rangers are so OP. <laughs> what? <clears throat> People are... with their hearts of iron for mods. But are they as powerful as the burning rangers? Are they as powerful as the burning one I be? <laughs> oh dear. Cuts magic as well as good. some help right now. Stop it! Give me some help. <laughs> Give me some health. Stop it! Give me some health. There we go. We got there. Gotta workshop it a little bit sometimes. Yeah. Sophie, what are you doing? Being a fuzzy door. It true. It true. Look at this friggin' smug ass rock with this stupid blood. Yum. We prefer our blood smart around here. Exactly. The best. Ooh, that's a big change. So that's 19. That's 8. That's 7. It'd be cool if, uh, like, from having the load helm and the load vest, it gave you, like, a set bonus. That'd be nice, but it is not the case. <laughs> is this backward or is this the right way? I forget. Uh, you 
came up on a chain. I know that much. Yeah, that, that's not good. Here we go again. Here we go of, again! <laughs> take care of these guys as soon as possible, considering that they can set my health to one. Uh... This looks like progress. Let's hope. Oh, there we go. I can indeed hit three of them and kill nobody. All right. Um. about you? Hey, that's good. <clears throat> I was hoping that I could hit multiples with anyone else, but apparently not. Damn. Water to the apocalypse. Or maybe it's the aqualypse. The apocalypse? Something like that. Actually, the apocalypse sounds really good. Scoot on in. How you doing? <laughs> Sorry, I have to go, but get the fuck out of here! Oh. Okay, that's just a end. So this is progress. I do appreciate the fact that uh, it's, a, it's just a simple thing to appreciate, but a lot of early RPGs didn't do it, where you target an enemy, it dies, and they'll just automatically target someone else. 
rather than just target the same dead enemy and not do anything. Yeah, those were dark days. <laughs> One targets the dead enemies. Lovely. Damn. Cool. Probably a good idea for me to use a shelter next time I see a save point. Probably. <laughs> Probably. That's your punishment for not killing your target. I wish that I could use this outside of battle. Especially since it's pretty cheap, actually. Look at that. MP used one for both. I wonder why they don't let you. I guess I just get to use a, uh, a shelter here anyway. But you know, still nice to restore everyone's MP. One point. Mm -hmm. Let's stop and slow. That's not bad. Oh yeah, they these do have defense. They're just still lower defense, but uh, not to say that they're not useful. So I can probably hand me down some of this gear. And we already have a Ceratopter. Oh, this one is not great for you though.
bit heckin' windy. Whoosh. Can we leave there? Oh. Magic tab. Oh, it, it, it heckin' dark. It heckin' dark. Dark bee. <laughs> I don't know. This big cage? It's disappearing. Oh no. Oh. Got her a little... Oof, owie, ow. Okay, can you please stop attacking for two seconds so that I can do shit? That was a lot of owies, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I definitely get the idea of uh, getting rid of those hands. Although I, I get, I also get the feeling that if I get rid of both hands, that something really bad is going to happen. I think so. Well, we're about to find out. Continue to use Ayala as a conduit for for magic. This was my game for a second. Please go home. You're drunk. Dancing arm restoration. Figured something like that was probably going to happen. Yeah, you're, you realize there's a catch. It's not going to be that easy. Here they come. It's not like they're very strong. Falcon hit. I mean, that's still really good. Is that better than Volt Bite, though? Let's get a side by side comparison. Oh, now on your phones. Yeah, they're about the same. There we go. 
now fell off. This fight reminds me a little bit of uh, Exor from the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Exor. The only boss where they forgot to uh, to disable the ability to insta kill with General. Well, no, they they didn't forget that. It's that they didn't, you know, recognize the edge case that happened there, where. Anyway, continue. Sorry. Melchior. Indeed. I am Melchior. Have we met before? Not Whoa. yet. Can you tell me anything about the ocean palace? See, the queen has degenerated me to that degree. Uh, de 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 degenerated to that degree. The more energy the mammoth machine absorbs, the further the queen generates. Her spirit has been stolen by the infamous immortal Mappos. We must flee. The seal has been broken. The mountain will collapse. Elder, the mountain of war is about to crumble. Mommy, the man's gonna fall! Uh oh. In which direction are you falling? Yeah, um, about that. So how how did we get out of that safely? That's my question. Well, you're the protagonist. <laughs> That's how. Plot armor. Got it. Lavo, yeah, sleep, Lavo sleeps deep underground while consuming the energy of this planet. If the Manaman machine is brought closer to him, he may awaken. We must hurry before it's too late. Elder, Shala is here. What? Shala is here? It's Shala, why have you come to such a miserable place? Stop degrading yourselves. We enlightened ones were the one who were once the same as you. The only difference is that we are under Lavos' control. A filthy hobble. Quiet, you. Melchior, after the mountain of war fell, I thought I would find you here. Is it safe for you to leave the palace? That no longer matters. The ocean palace is now operational. And all is lost. But without me, the mammoth machine won't work. I've turned my back on that evil device. I have kept the skyway open. Hurry, you must stop my mother. Why don't we keep it right there? Mwah. Dalton! My dear, your presence is required elsewhere. Dalton, leave her alone. <laughs> the geezer speaks. Silence, old man. Keep you. Ugh! You'll come to the ocean palace with me. Do anything funny in Shala's dust. Got it? <laughs> Shala! The queen's children all seem to have a problem with authority, don't they? Stay back. The life of this woman means nothing to me. Shall we get goalie? Go ahead. Shall we get going, Shala dear? Your mother awaits. <laughs> I'm starting to think that guy's kind of a dick. A little bit, yeah. 
Look you. I'm all right. But we must we must save Charlotte or else. Impossible! And even those coming from you, Melchior. If the Queen is allowed to fulfill her scheme, all life as we know it is doomed. I'll do it! You're willing to challenge the Queen? Yeah, fuck Which that bitch. And I don't even know your names. You were just That's pointing cool. this out, Bazzy. Gramps used redstone. Help, Colonel. Now I have to help you. What are you talking about? <laughs> Chrono, let, let us be in our way. Here, wait, take this with you. It's made from the same redstone as a mammoth man machine. With it, you can destroy the machine. But what if, and hear me out, I am the machine? So, how's that? Kirby hmm. knife item. Okay. So I'm guessing this might be like. I might need to actually use this item during a battle or something. I don't think so. I think it's just a key item. Or a story okay. item. I realize that some of my characters might sound the same, but I mean, there's only so many voices that I can do. <laughs> Almost like you're not a professional voice actor or something. Weird. I mean, there are some professional voice actors that only do one voice. Look at, look at H. John Benjamin. Damn. gotta go to the palace. I think. I don't know exactly where in the palace, but uh, there's a couple of places I can try. Oh, man, the machine isn't here anymore. Walk. <laughs> Profit allowed inside when I'm while well, I'm stuck with guard duty. Huh, <laughs> there you are. I let the prophet go, knowing he'd mess up sooner or later. But I've, I've no use for you anymore. Your history. I mean, we're parts of we're we're parts of many like eras in history at this point, so you, you're not wrong. Oh, you mean you're gonna kill us? 
you should just say that. You're a dork. <laughs> I I do my best. Go ahead, try and attack. Mm, nah. <laughs> Usually that's my cue to not do anything. I attack with loving. Do you? I mean, you know. I'm, Given... ho I'm hoping that the <laughs> fact that he attacked means he's no longer in counter stance. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really remember. I mean, he's still doing that, so I don't know. Yeah, I mean, but... That's not a huge deal, I don't think. It seems relatively benign. Bonk. It's such a silly thing that just donk. Immortal, I can't be beaten now. <laughs> well, apparently, you can, bitch. <sighs> Sucks to be you. Oh, well, it looks like either some sort of portal or time gate. I'm gonna go back here and use a shelter. Wait, aren't there like restore points? Never mind using a shelter if I can just. Stand on a pad and be healed. <laughs> Although, is there not one in the palace? Oh, there it is. Yeah, there we go. But you know what? I'm still hungry. Damn. It's true, though. Lavos beckons. That also Trudeau. What about Trudeau? Damn. Something, something blackface. Oh, dear. Oh, there's another save point right there. All right. Back energy bells. Something scary is waking up. Ah. Uh. So I don't know if you noticed that was Mune. Shall you we know. raise the power to the ma of the memory machine to its limit? Shala, you dare to disobey to disobey me? All right, mother. What bright splendor! The incredible power of Lavos! Ah! But yeah, Mune popped out of the sword and was like, "Ah, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta comment on some things." <laughs> That's how real shit is right now.
Yeah, and you, you can tell that the game is starting to mean business when it foregoes the usual battle theme. Uh-huh. That's, that's one of the... This is, like, the moment that I've been waiting for the whole playthrough is that first battle that you walk into and the music doesn't change to battle music and you're just like, oh, shit. <laughs> So did that button do anything other than just start that fight? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> oh good, that didn't annihilate me this time. I'm gonna annihilate you though. Yeah, no. That's four. That's ten. That's three. So you get it. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> That's three. That's also three. And you already have one. So you get that. Ah, I got the Eon suit, but not before I could uh, actually deck in and equip it before this fight. Not that this fight's gonna be very long. Defense is a lower. It's not the biggest difference, but it's the most meaningful. <laughs> Say about his power level. It's ah! over nine. It's over nine. <laughs> what? Big difference. It's unfortunate also, to get rid of the magic the plus. <laughs> magic plus four. <laughs> uh, yeah. Also, like attack plus thirty, or well, plus thirty from what I had. Kind of sucks to get rid of the Masamune because I had the increased uh, crit, but uh, you know. Yo, this music low-key rules. Uh, it's not low-key, it's just fucking rules. <laughs> that might hit all three. Yeah, it does. Your movements shall be your undoing.
Star Sword. Which actually is a weapon for Chrono, but because we got the Swallow, it is not an upgrade. Nothing can beat the Swallow. <laughs> All sorts of stuff. I'm betting that's the weapon for. Her. Yep. So that weapon that I bought for her never went to use. Cool. <laughs> Box. Really? Yep. Okay. This tease me game. It will? Obvious way down there, but uh, apparently we have to open it up somehow. You said but. I did say but. <laughs> Uh, I'm a mature adult. <laughs> I'm only three and a half years old. Damn. Kaiser arm. Which sounds like a robo thing. As opposed to a rowboat thing. Damn. This, this gotta be a reference that no one gets. Tailspin, which is a pretty good show. You will? Oh, you haven't watched Tailspin? No. This is one of the uh, one of the many um, '90s Disney cartoons. Sounds vaguely lewd. Also, I completely spaced on what I just collected. Yo, let's go. Oh, there it is, Sonic Arrow. I press that button and I don't know what that does. Yeah. Was that flashing before? Ah. 
Aha! That's what that does. I think they're gonna move into a good position. Oh, no, I can't hit all of them. I don't know how. Sometimes the game's just nice. Oh, well, this is fancy. So fancy. Serve a purpose. There's something sparkling there. I want it. I it want it. The game's rude. It keeps putting things in places I can't get to. It is kind of rude, though. Mm. But you know what? You know what this kind of looks like. This looks like it might be an elevator. Shouldn't have stood in the middle. Of course, the same goes for all these guys. This looks exciting. I guess I, I can potentially get by and not aggro any of these. Spin the win! Spin! Spin! Sir, that's rude. So I really, I disagree with him. Damn. But I, uh, I really get the feeling that. Um, the falcon hit might be a little too powerful. No, oh, why is that? I mean, the fact that it's just face melting everyone. Yeah, fair. Falcon hit OP, please nerf. <laughs> what Coolio's enemies are saying. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. I don't know, that's the same number of dudes, it's just... I thought I was gonna have to fight the big one, too. Mm. Mm. See if we can get him in a slightly better position. Um. No, I think that's worse. Let's get rid of two of them at the very least. In magic pendant and a knife were made. We embody Melchior's dream sealed within the knife. Now hurry if you plan to confront the queen. We're counting on you. <sighs> ah, I can feel it. The pulse of eternal life. <laughs> Force 
Wild energy. Uh, hmm. The the man the man machine. Your Majesty, it's too dangerous. Mother. Don't stop, Shala. We're almost there. Immortality will be ours. Zeal will have the glory it deserves. <laughs> Too long have I waited. Just so that I don't like save and then fight them and they turn out to be like they, they pull off like some incredibly dangerous maneuver so I have to like heal up and save again. This room looks like the other room up top, so definitely thinking elevator. Man, you take crap all uh, physical damage. You're not much better. Good elevator fight sequence, because of course. that it did anything for you. Here too. Next fight. Because of course there's gonna be like five of these. Oh, you know. <laughs> First couple of these is definitely not very dangerous. I level up. Powerful. Well, I, I expected... 
Oh. I have no idea what effect that had on on the bottom one because like any any damage or healing it gets is underneath the uh, the HUD. Yeah, uh, that's unfortunate. But yeah, that that's definitely the danger with the with the scouters. You don't want to attack them with magic. Shit, I think Foos is right. Or, I'm sorry, zero. Oh, only three fights. If I want to go back up. Alright, I guess I'm stuck down here. Restore, uh, restore full, but only one ally. Actually, that was probably wasteful. I probably would have done better with just a lot of heals. Whatever. It's done now. There's a door there. Button there, which is the obvious thing to do. Another door here. Pressing select now, it's not doing anything. And start just pauses. Damn. I blame this. Yeah. Boost, it could be worse. I could be perceiving you instead. An elixir. So I'm guessing that probably just restores everything. Yeah. Uh, how am I doing on... Everyone's at full health. Some pretty sig notable, I guess, would be the word to use. MP deficits. I'm just gonna use ethers. Get everyone to fall that way. I made it this far. Maybe I underestimated. It. But this is the end. They will take care of you. Come, Golem Toys. Are there two of them now? Hey, it's Yardovic. Actually survive that this time. Well, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> sometimes.
I'm hoping that has a better effect than just using the revive. Well, it's not bad. Better than 50. <laughs> oh, come on. really sucks. Why, why do these guys suck so much? Yeah, just keep doing that. I don't mind if you do that. Don't do fucking... Uh, Okay, guess I'll die. That's how you needed to be manipulating them then. I mean, it doesn't change the fact that they're gonna keep doing their frickin' ultra hyper beam blasts all the time and destroy my ass. I think, um, I think attacking with water is gonna change them to using that, um, that water technique instead of that fucking because I think they're yeah that's like them being set to the fire element maybe I forget how those guys work what to do, like... What if I get them to do different elements? I don't know. Um. He has an erotic Bus. Hi, Jolly. Ow. 
Oh yeah, I think uh. you've got the right idea. Let's get you off of physics right now. To anything else. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's harmful, but it's not killer. Is Volt Bite gonna do physics or is it gonna do like this questions I have to ask now? Oh come on. Like I don't like that. It's like, well, I looked through one uh, one party member's stuff and decide now I don't want to do any of these. So I switched to another party member, but the enemy gets to, to do an attack in the middle of that. Okay, that's water. Says electric or physical. It does count as lightning. Okay. I figured it out, guys. I figured out how to not make a do the ultra hyper death beam every time. Yay! We did it, Reddit. <laughs> we caught the Boston bomber. Okay. like, oh, okay. Not gonna lie, a reasonable response to, I don't know, any of my bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> See, there it goes again. It's like I'm in the middle of trying to pick something, but then they get an attack in the middle of me changing uh, I think that I think that's just how the ATBB BB <laughs> uh, the ATBBB uh, how the ATBBB A totally real sequel that actually absolutely exists and don't don't look it up just take my word for it just trust just trust me bro <laughs> how ATD
gonna prescribe you some ATP. <laughs> ATB's nuts? ATB's <laughs> nuts? What? copy of Dalton. But at least now it's down to one, so uh, this should go a lot more smoothly now. Yeah. Even after I figured out the best way to approach it, it was still a uh, tough fight. They beat the Golem Twins? Alright, this calls for the Golem Boss. <laughs> well, what's this strange force? Could this be Lavos' energy? I've got a bad feeling about this. All my work will be in vain if I expire before I'm immortal. This is your lucky day. Bye bye. Later, nerd. This is my lucky day because, um. I'm gonna use a shelter. I'm gonna save. And, uh, well, that's actually what I gotta do it for today. Uh, I was getting a little nervous when, uh, when he mentioned, like, oh, there's a sign for the golem boss. I was like, wait, what? We gotta keep fighting? We're at, we're at time, man. We don't have time for this. Ain't nobody got time for that. At the very least, uh, this time I shouldn't, I hopefully shouldn't get confused about, um, where I have to go next because it's just simply, you know, go north and the queen is probably there cavorting with Lavos or something. Eating off of Lavos' sexual energy? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> quite, anyway. quite the way to end the stream. Well, anyway. I mean, Jules not here, so I had to make it a little bit more cursed. 
Uh, so, uh, thanks for everyone for hanging out. Uh, Nick was here for like two seconds. He might have been also working, I don't know. Uh, there was uh, Cell, Foos, uh, Madison, Zero, Jolly, and of course you, Mazzy, for hanging out in voice. Wow. Uh, the next scheduled stream is going to be on Sunday at 8 p.m. or later. Uh, it's going to be the Sunday Super Shuffle. We're going to do some more Archipelago shenanigans. And, God help uh, us all. <laughs> and uh, that takes us around week round wheel for our next uh, long run stream. We're going to go fight the Queen, probably, and or Lavos, and or something, I don't know. Some some stuff is gonna happen. It's gonna be cool, and probably don't want to miss it. Um, and as usual, uh, for uh, up until uh, the uh, Super Smash TV tournament, if J-Pop doesn't stream on Monday, I'm gonna do some more Smash TV on Mondays. Monday, uh, Monday, I Monday. If he if he does stream, then I will cede the floor to him because that's one of his usual days. It's just been weird lately. But yeah, let me know, Zero. You you uh you would probably know more than anyone other than J-Pop himself. Stream is on for tomorrow, cool. Um. And maybe if I can get myself motivated at some point, I'll have some more programming streams on the other channel, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. I, I feel like I need to do something different, because I've been stuck in a bit of a rut lately. Anyway, so that's going to do it for today. Thank y'all for watching. I'm cool here if you don't know, along with Mazzy. Nini. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>